Hello everyone, Dr. Blade from Bayou Golf, soon to be absolute zero stress golf. I had a very good comment came in, a question came in via email, drblade4life at gmail.com. Dr. Blades with an S, for life, the number four at gmail.com. The question was, what was my swing key when I was over the ball? Very good question and a very relevant question, but before I get to it, I want to answer it like this. What I want your swing key to be, until you get the premium set up ingrained, I want you to work on pivoting the weight and anchoring. That could be one of your swing keys. Another one could be maintain closed shoulders. A third one could be stay as still as possible for your swing dynamics. And you can work on those as the season progresses. Pivot your weight and, and, and make that your swing key until you are until you actually doing the piston pivot naturally. You stand over the ball and you do the piston pivot naturally. Once you ingrain that one, then say maintain closed shoulders. If you're having solid contact, but your ball flight is going different places, your swing key should be maintain closed shoulders. If you swing on the ball, your swing key should be stay as still as possible for your swing dynamics. Your swing key should fit what you're going through in your golf journey at that time. It should be very specific. Just like the Practice with Purpose series, your swing key should be just as purposeful as that. Right now, my personal swing key is making sure my target side arm stays a little bit straight. I want my target side arm to stay a little bit straighter. The reason I'm doing that for my personal swing is when I find I have too much of a bow in my arm, my miss becomes a slinging hook. I'm not saying you gotta play with a straight lead arm. You can look at the PGA Tour and some old black and white films, and you'll find a lot of great golfers play great golf with a bend in their lead arm. That is okay. I'm not saying you have to be in a cookie cutter mode. I'm just saying for me personally, I'm at the point now with my golf game where I can start working on some little trinkets just to get a little bit more consistent and to get a little bit more better. So for me personally, my swing key, I've already got pivoting the weight locked in. I've already got the closed shoulders locked in. And I'm staying as still as possible for my swing dynamics. So now when I'm over the ball and I take my practice swing, I feel as though my lead arm is staying a little bit more straighter. It may not be, but that's the feeling I want to ingrain. And remember, when we out here work on our golf games, we want to ingrain these feelings. So make sure your swing key is as purposeful as your practice and you'll get better. So if you haven't ingrained the premium setup, make that your swing key. If you're opening your shoulders, make your swing key stay as closed as possible for yourself. Just keep those shoulders closed. Remember the tip, there's a camera behind you. When you pivot your weight and anchor it and close your shoulders, that camera is looking at your chest. Make sure for your swing key, that that camera is looking at your chest as long as possible. Use your swing keys to benefit yourself. I'll step over this ball. On my practice swing, I'm gonna feel my arm is a little bit more straighter, and that's my swing key for my personal development this quarter. So that worked for me. I'll look at the camera later and see if I'm staying a little bit more straighter with my target side, but that is my personal swing key. Your personal swing key should benefit you and enable you to play better golf and get into your premium setup. Smash that like button, subscribe, share these videos, leave your comments below. I love the comments. I'll try to get back to as many as possible. And as we always say, keep grinding. Always grind. That's how we get better at this game. Keep grinding.